Hey guys, do you remember the seeds I bought from MI Gardener? Here is an update on the seeds that I sowed. Well, some of the seeds that I sowed on December 27th. So in the back row of this container, I have ruby red leaf lettuce. The second row, I have iceberg lettuce. The third row, I have some Pablo crisp head lettuce. And the fourth row, which will be the front row, I have the Lola Rosa leaf lettuce. This is what they're looking like after six days. So I'm going to take these out and put them in some other containers for them to continue growing and get a little bit bigger before I transplant them to their permanent area. Now these are also, these were also sown on the 27th. These are red Russian kale and the mammoth red rock cabbage. Uh, let me see, I sowed, I didn't put the amount that I sowed in here for the cabbages, but for the kale, I sowed 12 of them and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight out of 12. I'm going to take these out guys and I'm going to put them in a pot somewhere else. Let me see, yeah, I can take you to that area. All right, so. I am going to transplant them in one of these lower pots right here so they can just continue growing and get a little bit bigger before I put them in their permanent place. All right, so I will be right back. All right, guys, here they are. You can hardly see them because they are dark red. So today is... Um, January 2nd I will be coming back in a few days to check on them to see if there's any if improvement um, with the growth and here are the, the kale so those were the cabbages I showed you first and now what's this and now these are the kale all right so see you in a few days you can hardly see them Okay guys, so I just transplanted the the mammoth red cabbage and the red Russian kale. I am now going to transplant these lettuces. And honestly, I am actually take, taking a chance with these because it is pretty cool over here in Zontini, Florida. Um, normally, whenever the weather is like this, the plants most of the plants would go in a state of dormancy except for like maybe onions and garlics and stuff like that that can actually tolerate the weather but as I always say the garden is an experimental place so I am going to take my chances I went ahead and I have prepared four baskets because I have four sets of um, lettuces so in here I am going to plant the ruby red leaf, here I am going to plant the iceberg, the Lola Rosa leaf, and the Pablo Crisped. These are some covers from some white buckets that I have and I did not write on the covers this time around. I use a piece of um, tape so whenever I'm done. <laughs> with it in this area i can just take the tape off and just reuse it in another area and i also went ahead and i've added some blood meal in this area as well all right so as i have mentioned i am having some difficulty with this tripod here so i'm just going to go ahead and transplant the lettuces and i will come back and let you see what it's looking like okay all right guys, so I have already planted all of the ruby red leaf lettuces. Now I am going to use some of my, my banana water, which is going to provide nitrogen. I have added it in this um, small watering jug and I'm just going to water, water the seedlings. Because we all know that um, nitrogen is also a very important nutrient for the plants to grow 
All right, that one has fallen over. Let me put it back up. And this one actually broke off. Or it seems as if it was already broken when um, before I took it out. So this is what they're looking like now. I will be coming back in a few days to see if all of them is alive and well. <laughs> Gosh, guys, we are having some very crucial weather over here. So for those of you who is in the cold states and you're not able to um to go outside, you can start your seeds because by the time you will quint or look, as we would say, spring is going to be here. So don't wait too long to start your seeds guys all right okay let me go ahead and um transplant and oh before i do that guys when i was transplanting the lettuces i kind of stagger them in a triangular form so i have one here one here one there one here one there yeah i do not plant them like in a row it's up to you how you want to plant them but all right, so let me go ahead and transplant the others and then i'll show you the finished product So guys, by the time I was done with the Pablo Crisped lettuces, the sun was coming up and I really don't want to take the chances with the other lettuce going through transplant shop. So I guess you will all see what they look like the next time I have um, or do my garden update. Or I can actually give you guys a little look whenever it is completed. All right. All right, guys. So the sun was very unpredictable. And I went ahead and transplanted all the lettuces. So here they are now. The iceberg. The ruby red leaf. Pablo crisp head and the Lola Rosa leaf okay here they are so let's keep our fingers crossed so when I come back in a few days <laughs> well all or most of them will still be here so thanks again for watching if this is your first time joining me this is the glades kind of girl over here in zone 10 a florida remember to comment like share and don't forget to hit that notification bell so whenever i upload the videos you will be notified i am not sure what type of lettuce this is but i think i had sown this seed a oh, good while now let me see mm -mm. i don't see any marker so guys, after I completed transplanting the lettuces, the sun came up in its full force in the sky. And since it was made to govern the day, who am I to say or to decide whenever it can appear? So I just have to give God the glory, the honor and the praise for the sun. Because guess what? The sun is actually going to help the lettuces to grow faster. But this is what I actually did to protect them from being scorched or suffered transplant shock. <laughs> what do you think about this, guys? So these are actually some mats that I brought outside um, a few days ago to be washed. And luckily I had them outside. I haven't washed them yet because I get so busy sometimes doing all sorts of stuff. Yes, so here they are protecting my lettuces. And I think I am going to leave them there until the lettuce gets a little bit bigger. All right, guys. So is this something that you would actually do in your garden? Go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you think. All right. So, guys, for those of you who is watching, and if this is your first time, this is the Glades Garden Girl over here in Zone 10A, Florida. Thank you so much for visiting this channel. For my returning subs um, subscribers, I appreciate you so much. And for the ones that is just clicking, 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 
on that subscribe button daily oh my goodness gracious guys i appreciate you so so much guys i am not even sure where i was <laughs> i was interrupted by a phone call oh my goodness um so where was i tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend <laughs> i already said that <laughs> Or was I um, expressing my attitude of gratitude? All right, guys. Um, so once again, remember that my personal garden that I am sharing with you on YouTube, it's not just to show you what I am growing in my garden. Sometimes I just get inspired just to create some things and just to do some things in my garden. And it gives me so much joy, peace of mind, and it relaxes me. I cannot tell the last time I actually had like um uh what you call it like a stressful day or you know what should I say you you all know what I'm talking about guys I can't find the words right now <laughs> yes so I just want you guys to come back um to my container garden to share the ideas that I have on here utilize them in whatever way you can tweak it i really don't care i don't care this is a place this the, actually this platform is not just for me but it's for me and you and you and you they always say teamwork makes the dream work so whatever i fall short on you guys can make your suggestions and your recommendations and um, put up your ideas I've gotten um, some tremendous recommendations from one of my um, subscribers today. Uh, her name is Karen Sterling. I want to thank you so much for the idea that you gave me how to um, get the water out of my water barrels. And you know, yeah, that's how it works. Yes, guys. And for this other person, I think her name is um, Just Goodness. You know, I was going through her videos last night and I saw um, where she was saying goodbye because she don't think she's consistent enough to do this YouTube thing. Let me tell you something, girl. I was one of the most inconsistent person when it comes to uploading content. I am telling you, sometimes I'll upload a content and weeks, months, I haven't put up anything. But I have um, discovered a strategy and it is working for me. Okay, so I just want to say that just goodness, you have a very beautiful garden. Your layout, I love it. Uh, you just continue creating your content, girl show it to the world all right so just continue to do what you're doing because you're doing it for the love just like myself i really love and enjoy what i am doing so i am encouraging you to continue doing it because you never know you might just touch somebody's heart or just give somebody a new idea or to do something or to start something new in their garden all right so once again this is the great guide girl over here in zone 10 a florida Guys, and the next time I am going to try and show you um, the completed layout of my first garden, which was my herb garden. It is no longer called a herb garden because I'm putting all sorts of stuff in there. I'm just going to be planting stuff wherever I feel like planting them. Okay, guys, so thanks for watching and I will see you soon in another video.